Hey, um, so something just kind of shitty happened. So I was in rehab five months ago, uh, just for like a month or two. Um, and now I'm, I mean, I smoke pot and like I'll have a drink or two, but I'm not doing like hard drugs now. I've just kind of like not seen the light, but just woken up and been like, fuck that shit. Like I just had an epiphany to not do that shit anymore. Um, just fucking pointless. And my friend, my roommate from Safe Harbor, um, which is where I went to rehab, um, I've been trying to talk to her, you know, she's been in Maine, I've been trying to get her to come visit, to like hang out with her and try and be a good influence. It just sounds like every time I talk to her she just wants pills or drugs or whatever. And I was just hoping if I could see her in the flesh and at least, I mean, I know that if someone just wants to do drugs or hurt themselves or do anything, I've been that person, nothing anyone says can stop you, but it's, you do want to know that people care, so you want to see people try and help you, uh, even if you're not going to listen right then. So she told me this afternoon, oh, I'm going to be in Boston at 5.30, can you hit up your dude? I was like, I'll meet you there at 5.30. I got there and she was, she wanted heroin. She was texting me and she wanted heroin. And I was like, I'm not going to get you heroin. I don't even know how to get you fucking heroin. And I'm not going to hang out with you if you're getting heroin. And I saw her and she's put on a lot of weight. And she was with this guy, her baby daddy. And he was a fucking asshole. His hand had been broken from punching a wall. And he was being a dick and I was trying to convince her to stay. I was telling her I'd pay for her, her fucking, um, bus the next day if she would stay at my friend's house and we could just hang out. Um, and I'd get to talk to her like one-on-one -on -one without this asshole there. And I could tell she wanted to and she said she wanted to, but then he was being passive aggressive about her staying. So she was like, I can't, I need to go with him. And I stole her bag. It's here. Because she was hanging on to it. I was like, no, you need to stay. Like, I'm trying to fucking help you. Don't go with that that guy. She's like, I have to. And she wasn't even trying very hard to get it. But then she went and put... And the bus was being held up. And she went and put the rest of her shit on. And I just took her bag and left. And she texts me. I'm really mad at you. Who does that? You're fucked up. Better send me my bag. I was like, I don't care. Next time you actually are visiting Boston to see me and not just making a drug pit stop. Then you can have your bag back. I mean, I'm not getting too sucked into it. You know, I didn't fucking cry. I didn't m make too big of a scene. I just wanted her to know that I was there for her and that I was doing well and hoping that she could see that she could do well too because I was a fucking mess before and now I'm like decent. <sighs> so I don't know. It's fucked up. Try not to get too fucking involved with, you know, people's struggles. I mean, I, I always try and at least show that I'm there and I care for them, but you can't get sucked in to helping someone until they actually want help. Because I got to a point eventually where I actually wanted help and I begged and pleaded for it. Um, and I already lost one friend to heroin and I'm not going to help another one die from it. It's n I'm not going to have blood on my hands again. Um, So I love her, and I've seen her sober, and I hope she gets it, get, gets it together, has a relationship with her kids, thanks me one day for caring. I don't know. Okay. That's all. Try not to do drugs, but be around people who are throwing their life in the toilet.
but she'll make you laugh.